Now, there is hope for patients suffering from non-communicable diseases in the country after the Kenya Medical Research Institute, or KEMRI, commissioned a state-of-the-art stem cell and regenerative medicine laboratory. The lab stationed at KEMRI's headquarters in Nairobi aims at regeneration of health cells to replace cells affected by cancer, diabetes, and accidents from other diseases, uh, what is known as regenerative medicine. According According to scientists, stem cell research will increase a deeper understanding of how diseases occur and how to best tackle them, according to the Institute's Acting Director General, Elijah Songok. This will eventually reduce the burden of patients traveling outside the country for treatment. The various research you have done over the last 40 years, we are moving to products. And these products are what the country needs. These products are what the region needs. These pro products are what the continent needs. You saw what we did during the COVID time. The infrastructure that we had managed us to be at the front to support the country when we had that epidemic. So right now we are on that particular space to support the country in restarting a biotech industry. We need to ensure that we support research in this country uh, the STI Act provides for 2% GDP, and of course we are around 0.8. So I implore uh, the government to be able to come in and uh, uh, give us the 2% so that we can be able to enhance and do what we've done with Cambry. Product discovery, doing the basic science of identifying the cell and what it can do from bench, from to, bench. bench to bed can take up to even 10 years. Mm. This is the reality check. And the reason for this is human safety. You take the product, you assess it if it has the ingredient to manage that intervention you want, then you take it through human trials. Is it safe? Is it safe for pregnant women? Is it safe for children? You do that, what we call phase one trials. Then you move to the next stage and you say, does it work? Is it effective in this environment? Then you scale up to what we call phase three trials. And then you do a larger group. What's the percentage of protection, of effectiveness? Then we even do now rollout trials and then market. Now, President William Ruto 